Hi, my name is Aaron with Ag East Solutions. Today we're down here on a customer's farm in southern Indiana about ready to do an injector install on a John Deere 9410R four-wheel drive tractor. This particular tractor has a 13.5 liter uh, diesel engine. This particular module part number is HP94. And that goes on this tractor, it is for a tier four model. We also make one for a tier four final, which we'll talk about at a later date. A uh, couple things to touch on before we do the install on this. Be sure that the module is away from any moving parts, anything away from high heat, high stress areas. Uh, we would not want to damage the module in any form of way. This just adds quality assurance uh, to the performance of the product and the performance of our module as well. Before you begin this install, the hood is going to have to be open. The first thing you're going to do is open the hood and on the right hand side of the engine towards the cab. On the back of the block and below the turbo, you're going to locate your 6-pin and your 8-pin fuel inject and con injector connector, module, connector ends. Uh, these are going to go, as I said, right behind the head and below the turbo. All the other connectors are on the driver's side. Um, that will be your power and ground, uh, your map sensor, and then the last connection you're going to have, of course, is to go to your module. That's going to be the last thing you hook up is your module. That's going to let this be free and easy to move around during the install. Uh, speaking of the harness. We have now got the 6 and 8 pin fuel injector connectors plugged into the harness itself. Uh, following the next step is to run the harness behind the back of the engine. As you can see, it's a big open area here. We'll run that to the other side. To conclude, we will connect the map sensor, your power and ground connection cables, and as well as the connector to the module itself. Now that we have the harness ran behind the engine, it is now time to identify the map sensor for our next step. As you can see here, up in this location towards the top of the engine, there are two plugs that look the same. As stated in your installation manual, the bottom plug-in connector, that is your map sensor. That's what we'll be plugging into next. As with all the other connectors, such as the fuel injector connectors and the map sensor connector, the only thing you will need is a flathead screwdriver in order to pop them apart. Uh, your map sensor connector is a three pin connector as noted in your installation instructions as well as on the harness itself. So simply just take your flathead screwdriver and pop the connector off as such. And following, take the connector from your harness and plug into the factory location where the existing map sensor works. And make sure, as noted with every other application, that these snap in securely and properly. If they are loose, it may affect the performance of the module or the tractor itself. We are now ready to install your power and your ground wires to power the module itself. Uh, we will run these directly to the starter to your power strap and your ground strap. Uh, you will need a 19 millimeter wrench or a 19 millimeter socket and ratchet for this install. Now that we have our ground and power strap installed, it's now time to install the module itself. Just to friendly remind you, as I said, the power nut on the starter is a 19 millimeter and the ground is an 18 millimeter, so have those with you at all times. Uh, now we're ready to install the module as stated. Uh, we will also go through and zip tie up any excess harness that would be laying or flopping around. That way it's all secure properly. Can't get into anything, can't get damaged. Uh, where we're going to install the module at is right here on the step. It'll keep it out of the way from the tire and it'll keep it away far enough from the engine bay as well to get away from anything that might damage it. We'll install that there. Uh, what we also recommend on our ag modules and any module and that for general is to put it in the highest setting which is 30 percent. We've also got our middle setting which is 15 percent and our first setting which is stock. Uh, we recommend our customers to leave on high at all times. That's where you're going to see your utmost performance and the horsepower gain and the fuel efficiency and savings associated with that. Uh, whether you're planning, whether you're in heavy tillage, or whether you're doing a vertic vertical till application or running a grain cart, this is good for any application for any uh, style of tractor or combine. Now that we have the module installed and all the excess wiring harness zip tied up into a safe location, we have now concluded our process of installing this HP 9040 module 
on the 13.5 liter in the John Deere 9410R. Uh, we appreciate you coming out and viewing us. Uh, we want to congratulate this customer on another fine product for another fine piece of equipment. Stay tuned and watch us on Facebook, YouTube, and you can also view us on our website at agdieselsolutions.com. Be sure to farm smart, farm efficient, and farm with Ag Diesel Solutions. We thank you for joining us. Have a great day.